People who use VTubing as a means to escape from reality don't understand that being on the internet in and of itself is far from escaping reality. It's a cesspool of humanity magnified to its most potent toxic form, Lamo. Good luck keeping up with that delusion though. Cry and laugh emoji. Do you think that's true? That the internet is just a magnification of reality or is the internet something entirely different? What does it mean to escape from reality? And how is VTubing tied to that concept? Is there any truth to this statement or is VTubing all just a lie? Let's see what some other VTweeters had to say about this. VTubers who have a whole platform but completely refuse to engage with any social issues bother me so much. Like you are directly engaging in society already by being an influencer. Hiding behind a screen doesn't change the fact that we are all human at the end of the day. Looking for an escape from society while actively pursuing a status of influence in said society is silly. It's literally a VTuber's job to engage at people. No, it's my mental health. I am allowed to step away and curate my experiences. I would never shame someone for not speaking on an issue. We do not know the lives of VTubers behind the scenes. Why would I judge someone for protecting their mental health? I find it amusing when I see people pretending to be anime characters arguing over this concept of reality versus fiction on an app that used to be called Twitter because, well, they're on Twitter. People come on the internet to escape reality, not be reminded of it. That could not be farther from the truth. This is why I never talk about personal stuff. I have a network of awesome people, but the worst scumbags always find my posts. I'd rather get on stand up for uh, my friends and others. I don't need my private life to be ammo for them too. If VTubers actually took a moment to talk about real life social issues, you know, basically breaking the fourth wall of their universe, then is tweeting about it on X Twitter really going to change anything? Especially if you just got off of work or are coming home from school and you had a really long day and all you want to do is just relax and see what your favorite content creator is up to. Baby, wake up. It's time for people to only read the first sentence in Misa's newest post and not read any supplementary context given directly in their replies before getting mad at her again. Like, Imagine watching an episode of Naruto and right before Naruto goes to fight Sasuke for like the 100th time, he suddenly just stops moving, turns to the camera and says something like, so uh, what you gonna do about the present election that's coming up? You immediately turn that shit off, right? Because that's so weird that you couldn't believe Naruto would say something so jarring. That's just a funny little example that I think of when I see this entire argument happening. And this argument has been going on for a few days now on Twitter slash X.com. I'm here to spread smiles. Our world sucks. Is on fire and out of our control. Being joyful and spreading happiness is the part I play, however small and making a difference. If I can help one person, even just one, feel happy, I've done my part. My bad, gee, I forgot the VTubers are just animated adults and chatters are just words on a screen. Nothing to see here. Like people are really arguing over the idea that VTubing is not real and as a VTuber, you should be using your influence to talk about real life issues because being on the internet means you're engaging in real life issues all the time. And that's just kind of bizarre. I'm of a similar mindset myself, but I won't speak about everything as I do try to strongly balance having a space of comfort that allows for stepping back. I also refuse to just gloss over everything entirely, most especially about topics that directly affect me as a person. At the end of the day, you are 100% in your right to step back and take the time and space you need to take a breather from what reality is dishing you. In fact, that's very important for your mental and physical health. Life is a marathon, not a sprint, and railing at problems. 24-7 is the fastest way to destroying yourself and affecting those around you, but on the same exact token, ignoring everything entirely to the point of toxic positivity is also very self-destructive and destructive to those around you affected by you. Keeping a good balance can often be hard, especially in times where you're hit the hardest and it appears to go on for ages, but it's not good to fall into the mindset of, oh, if I don't look at it, don't think about it, don't talk about it, everything is fine because that's not true. Stuff does not just stop or go away by ignoring it. In fact, there are many things that can and will get worse if we all just collectively ignore it and avoid it. Most especially in this community, where manipulation and dangerous behavior run rampant due to anti-drama stances. Ooh. In the end, tailor your community and spaces as you like, but there is absolutely something to be said if you refuse to touch on important topics under the belief that it's good for you or helping others, as all it is is sweeping problems under a rug for the explosion later. Ooh, mommy. Ooh, give me a little fall there. This was a good take. This is a much more tactful take on this whole situation. <laughs>
Thank you, Leah. In the end, I ended up realizing I'd cultivated a toxic positivity space in my community by not speaking about things. When after posting about my dangerous health issues, I got three separate DMs telling me I'd essentially harsh their vibe and they weren't there for negativity. I'll never tell anyone not to do what they need to to make themselves feel better in regards to stuff, but I really don't know how to explain how demoralizing that was and how subhuman I felt after that, right after learning that there's a real chance I could die from this. Like, this all started because this VTuber or I guess V-Singer because she disowned her own lore and the idea of VTubing now after she made this original take, which by the way, aren't you the freak that hates male VTuber? Whoa, 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 what? Are you the, whoa, wait, what? This really struck a nerve for some of y'all, huh? <laughs> Yeah, you can't pretend to be someone else. That's the whole point of VTubing though. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Next, we're gonna say video games are, aren't an escape from reality or books. Let's be real. A VTuber may use it to escape. The audience uses it to escape. It's really not complicated. I don't go watch Gura for her political takes of real life social issues. I watch it to escape from reality. <laughs> what I do understand is you should produce more music and less tweets. Okay. When you look into her account, you can kind of tell she's either a troll or she's a chronically online individual who uses social media and the internet itself to spread negativity and further push this narrative that the internet is just a toxic cesspool of humanity by being incredibly toxic herself. Hey everyone, Mari from the future here. As I am editing this video, I did a little bit more digging on this person that I've been talking about. And as it turns out, what I had just said there was pretty much hitting the nail right on the head because her online presence really stems in a lot of propaganda and being incredibly toxic online. I cannot believe I actually guessed that just off of a couple of tweets on her profile. That's crazy. <sighs> this is probably why people don't like me and why it's really hard for me to make friends. Muting this, y'all really just straight up quote retweet and approve my point. A lot of VTuber fans are unhinged AF. Lamo. Hmm. Interesting. This is a lot of tea. Oh my gosh. So going from this straight up to this, I think really puts into perspective on what Futakuchi was originally... Futakuchi, that's kind of a funny name. Um, was kind of getting at here. I think this was really taken out of context. I mean, she doesn't even know what K-Fob is. How are you a singer, but you don't know what a K-Fob is? Which, if you don't know what K-Fob is, then I think that kind of defeats the whole purpose of wanting to become a VTuber or any online personality. I think this is really telling how so many people just coined the word VTuber because it's trendy and popular, but they don't really want to be a VTuber. Nothing wrong with that, just really puts it into perspective on how people don't really understand VTubing culture. Kinda weird to be posting this. Shortly after you posted some drama here. Very interesting. You would think that if you're someone who really believes the internet is a magnified reflection of reality, then you'd want to use your influence to make some sort of change, right? You're exactly what you're supposed to be because you make terrible decisions. Damn. I don't really know because it seems like this person isn't really using their influence to spread any positive messages because like from what I can tell, she's really enjoying the attention that this has been giving her based on her recent tweets. I want to talk about what her original tweet referred to, which is this concept of reality in VTubing. What does it actually mean to be a VTuber? For some people, it's just another way to be a faceless content creator. But instead of having a little mascot, you use an anime avatar to represent yourself. And for others, it's to create a character that you use as a way to make content in that character. You know, normally when I make videos like these, it's usually because we're laughing or cringing at some goofy we're seeing online and yeah this is pretty goofy to some extent but after watching this for a few days and seeing a lot of different people's perspective on this has made me start to wonder if this really is just some goofy bullshit seen on the x verb app or if this really is a problem that needs to be addressed like how would you feel if you saw gargura playing a game like pokemon and all of a sudden she just starts talking to her chat about politics that would mean she would have to either one, be very informed about whatever politics she's talking about, and two, be very aware of where the majority of her fan base are from. Because like, why would you talk about anything related to America if the majority of your audience is in Europe? Like people from Europe don't give a f about America. Like even me sitting here saying that means that I'm assuming you, the person watching this, 
is from America. And well, based off of my analytics, it does tell me the majority of you are, but my analytics also tell me that I have a lot of people from overseas. So, uh, hello. What's it like over there to have good health care? Like, I don't know. Personally, to me, I think that there is nothing wrong with wanting to be a VTuber to escape from reality because people play video games or read books or even play games like VR chat and D&D. This whole concept of fantasy is what makes it so appealing to so many of us, regardless if it's VTuber or not. In fact, I think that if you become a VTuber or an influencer and your content isn't focused around politics or real life social issues, then it doesn't make sense to talk about that stuff because if you do, then doesn't that defeat the purpose of fantasy? It's one thing to have heartfelt moments in an anime, right? You know, where they emulate things that could be happening in real life without directly saying it. Like, isn't the anime One Piece inspired by real world events and some of the characters are meant to represent different leaders or something like that? I don't know, One Piece fans, help me out here in the comment section with this because like even that still isn't directly addressing real life problems. Think of it as like looking through a filtered lens. So as a VTuber or a content creator, even if you wanted to talk about real life problems, then you're going to be talking about them through a filtered lens because it's your own perspective. And we all know people will comment on your perspective with their opinions. And that just causes a lot of unnecessary arguments when all people want to see from you is just silly little anime memes or something. I think the dark truth about VTubing is that there are so many people who are using the words VTuber and VTubing as a way to trend hop and gain popularity without actually wanting to be a VTuber. Like the people who are just online personalities or faceless content creators using an anime avatar are not really VTubers. They're just borrowing the term and diluting its meaning, which is why so many corporate VTuber fans or anime fans in general don't take the indie VTubing community seriously. And it's kind of sad because over the past three years, the word VTuber has really changed in its meaning. And now whenever I meet a new VTuber, I have to stop and ask myself if this person really is a VTuber or if they're just a faceless content creator that isn't going to take their job that seriously. Now you might be thinking, Mari, why are you making a video on this and addressing this? Isn't this hypocritical for you to be breaking the fourth wall to talk about this? What about my silly stinky cat girl? Like, what is all of this about? And, um, I've always been like this? Question mark? Listen, I'm just a figment of your dreams, okay? So, I see some of the stuff you go through every day, and I also see the garbage takes you see online. Which means, whatever happens here in the dream realm is going to be influenced somewhat from the outside of here, so to say. Because that's what you and everyone else brings in here when you come visit me, and I see that. So I created this world, this space, where some of that is allowed and can be discussed to some extent. This was a conscious decision on my end when I first became a VTuber, but if I was originally, let's say, a music idol VTuber, and my entire life or aspirations was to make music and bring joy to people, then it wouldn't make sense for me to be making videos like this and talking about triggering topics like that. I don't know, I think I I've been ranting about this long enough that my medicine is starting to wear off, so I'm getting a headache now. Do you think it's okay for VTubers to not talk about real life issues, or do you think as part of being an influencer, it's our job to constantly remind you about the outside world? Let me know your thoughts in the comments because I'd like to have a discussion about it and hear from your perspective since, you know, you're the viewer of this show. So whatever it is that you want to see is what you're going to get because this channel and my existence are pretty much here for you and your entertainment. So what would you like? Anyways, I'm going to go lay down now. Thanks for listening to me and I hope I can listen to you too. Bye-bye.